I never knew until after my grandfather passed away. Actually, it was at his, at his service. We had a little gathering at, at his house. Mm -hmm. um, right after the service, I was looking around the old house, and you know how grandparents' houses have all these knickknacks? I was looking at this knickknack of a little bronzed dead bird. It was on the count, you know, on one of the shelves in the living room. I was looking at it when this tap comes on my shoulders. I turn around and it's this old man, and he goes, I can tell you a story about that bird. And he said, that bird was found in the snow back during Prohibition, the night after your grandfather still caught fire. I had no <laughs> idea that my grandfather had a still, and now he's dead. I'm like, I would love to have known. I'd been making brandy from, I'd learned to make apple brandy from a, a farmer uh, at home uh, here in Vermont as a teenager. I turned around and I said, you and me got to talk. And I took him by the elbow. We went and sat on the couch and he told me this story about during Prohibition, one night, he was running the still in the cellar. During Prohibition, uh, there was a dinner party going. The still catches fire. 40 below, or I don't know if the story is exaggerated, but it was below zero out. And, and they had to call the fire department. They also had to call the liquor control. The liquor control agent, the revenuer, finds out about it, shows up at the same time as the fire department. And the guys on the fire department, apparently, were privy to the still, my grandfather's still. The guy who had the hose sees the revenuer, turns and hoses him down. It's 40 below zero out. He had to go home and change his clothes. By the time he got back, they had thrown all the remains of the still in the river. <laughs> totally cleaned it up. Uh -huh. Never got caught. The next morning, this dead bird, whatever, how it happened, no mm -hmm. one knows, was in the snow. And my grandfather had it bronzed and gave everyone who was in on the whole thing uh -huh. uh, a dead bronze bird as a memento of the night. <laughs> so I'm the, I love this story and uh, uh -huh. it sort of ties it into my history. We're thinking of having a, a label that says dead bird brandy. Dead bird a little brandy. dead bird with little feet in the air, you know, <laughs> the story on the back. Right, right, that'd be perfect. <laughs> wow, Nick. so thanks so much for letting us come mm -hmm. in here. Sorry. Enjoy your brandy and enjoy your whole Shelburne Orchards operation. Well, I, thanks for coming. Yeah. And I'm sure you'll be back. I will. <laughs>